but we are taking action tonight to help you hear the words you're hired. KMIR 6's Adriana Weingold has the inside scoop on what it takes to land a job in this tough economy. There's no easy answer, but making sure what you're doing and how you invest your time while searching is key. We set out to find what employers really want and what you need to do to get ahead of the competition. Job seekers spend weeks, months, even years searching through lists of potential jobs. It's easy to get lost in mega job sites and even easier to get lost in the sea of applicants applying right along with you. So we went to the job experts to see how you can get your resume to the top of the pile. I think the first thing is when, when they put a resume together, it's making sure that the resume is relevant to the job and applying to jobs that their experience is relevant for. Shane Lamb is vice president at Kimco Staffing and places thousands of people every year at companies across California. He says the first step to landing a perfect job is perfecting your resume. When you put a resume together, it has to be eye-catching, has to be relevant, and you have to catch someone within the first couple of lines of that resume. Try starting with a professional profile. Outline your experience and what you're looking for in two to three sentences at the top of your resume. Experts say unless you're applying straight out of school, listing your education as your most important feature is a thing of the past. The content is incredibly important. You've got to convey who you are, what your strengths are in a concise and compelling way. John O'Connor also spends countless hours sifting through resumes to find ideal candidates. He's the executive director of the LGBT Community Center of the Desert and oversees SAGEWORKS, a program offering a multitude of job skill training. He says despite the push towards online applications, there's still a human aspect to your search. Constantly putting yourself out there, introducing yourself, meeting people, making conversations, you just never know when you're going to strike up a conversation with, a, with something that could lead to a potential uh, work connection. It has been difficult. <clears throat> um, I've um, been searching online quite a bit. Uh, not many responses. So after years of job hunting, Charles Anderson, like so many others in the Coachella Valley, decided to branch out, retrain and rework his job search strategy. I'm not doing something right because you, you think I would have gotten more responses or that type of thing. It's something we're hearing more and more. Be persistent. If you're not finding a job, look at what you may be doing wrong. Individuals may have done everything they can to find work and find that uh, their old uh, occupation has dried up. It may have gone away and it might not ever return. And so training might be the uh, absolute best op option for them. When Terrell Crawford found himself suddenly out of work, he knew it was time to expand his skill set. Crawford turned to the India Workforce Development Center for guidance and training in renewable energy. It gives me a second chance, you know, with another career. You know, it's kind of unheard of right now. And they're helping me find the financing. So that's, that's a big deal. It's a big deal. Across the board, we heard the same advice from headhunters, HR reps, and county employment officers. Make your resume snappy. Point out what you're good at and how your skills will benefit the company you're applying to. What we encourage individuals to do is work smart instead of working hard. We, as employers, don't want to see the job description. What we want to see is your achievements in that job. After listing your experience and achievements, list any professional organizations you're a member of, including networking groups. Last on your resume should be your education. It seems like a lot, but the entire resume should be no longer than two pages. Most importantly, be confident and don't give up. Persistence definitely pays in today's cutthroat job game. If you're having trouble finding a job, you can always turn to private agencies like Kimco Staffing or County Resources for help. And remember, there's a job out there for everyone, so don't give up. For more tips on how you can land a job, go to our website, KMIR6.com. Back to you.